Hey guys, White Rocks here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Kevin Gates type beat in FL Studio. Um, before we start, we have the tempo set around 117, but I'm going to take that up to 122. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what type of instruments we're going to be using today in this beat. Got the snare, closed hi hat, hit, crash, um, open hi hat, kick, 808, and the melody. So um, let's go ahead and start with the melody. We're going to actually do the hit just to kind of, I guess, set the mood. And uh, so, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, we're going to be working on uh, an E note. sharp depending on how that sounds I really like the way that sounds now I'll add the crash to it now we're going to work on the, uh, the melody um, the main part of it I'm going to be using this plug-in Electrax, Electra X, whatever you want to call it um, so let's go ahead and open up the harmonic minor scale. I don't use this exactly. I guess I kind of use a variation of it, but taking this note here, uh, that's usually how I make my trap beats and all that stuff. So let's go and start working on the, uh, the melody. You don't always have to start on the root note. You can maybe start on like a A sharp or whatever in this instance. So. Right, let's see how this sounds. So that sounds pretty damn good in my opinion. So maybe just to add a little extra, we can duplicate this and hit alt y and duplicate it horizontally a lot of times that can really make your melody sound good i guess just all depending on what notes they're playing on so let's go ahead and see how this sounds so now that we have that i uh, i think that sounds pretty good for the uh, main melody we'll get into this sound later I'm not too worried about this right now so let's go ahead and start working on the drums we already have the the hidden everything so let's add in the snare So now we'll kind of duplicate that same pattern onto the second half, except instead of adding this note here, I'm going to add it um, directly over the snare. Let's see how that sounds. Go ahead and duplicate this onto the 808 pattern. Put this in the piano roll. So that's B. And then just, uh, I guess, kind of vary it a little bit. We'll add this uh, C sharp note, an octave higher. And maybe here we can do like a, uh, a slide or something. Yeah, we'll, let's do that. There we go. My bad. Oh, I actually.
actually forgot this 808 that I'm using is out of tune. Um, it's actually playing on a D note, so that means we need to put this here, and now it should sound a lot better. So if I need to fix this. and everything we can go and start working on these uh, the hi-hats add some rolls and stuff to them so let's add one right where the snare hits can't hear that too well so maybe we'll try to take this back down a few notes lower This sounds and then I guess another way you can variate the hi-hats you can maybe just change it up a little by maybe adding some like this on the second half and then if you wanted to just to kind of give it another little extra thing uh, open up the third step and go to these lower notes and maybe give it some triplets on the uh, the second part of the melody so I'm just gonna single out uh, Electrax the hit and this and so we're not gonna keep this in uh, the same style you know beat or note after note we'll kind of give it a We'll change it up a little bit, I guess. So maybe we'll actually go an octave above first. the sounds with everything together. like love filter and all that shit on there but um i do not have enough time for this bandy cam only lets me go up to 10 minutes and i'm at 908 right now so sorry about that but thank you guys for watching um if you enjoyed it you know like comment subscribe and let me know what tutorials you want to see in the future